Hey fam, welcome back. Glad you made it. Glad you made it. I'm Regaton. We're starting up... What are we starting? Mass Effect. How did I forget already? I I uh, pressed a new game because I, I was uh, doing something in it before and... Yeah. Didn't get very far and it was like 30 minutes in. Um, anyway. I pressed new game and... Uh, didn't really know I got into this screen, so I'm gonna shut up and I swear this is all that happened. It's I'm connecting to the database, whatever that is. Secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. <laughs> oh baby, John Shepard. Please log in to access your profile. Profile reconstruction complete. Earthborn. Soul Survivor. Wait, what? Log in to your Story box? What? What the heck? Profile oh. reconstruction complete. Please log in to access your profile. You know what? I will do custom mail. Please log in to access your profile. Mr. Whoa. Did I goof? Can I go back? I. I. Warning. Data corruption. Uh oh. What did I do? I swear I didn't do it. Please reconstruct profile. Thank you. Thank you. Confirm pre service history. So. Please log in to access your profile. How do I get over to the tab? Confirm your first name. So I can't change my last name. Alright. <laughs> it's probably going to do the same thing again. Data corruption detected. I am not a terrorist. Please reconstruct profile. All right. Confirm pre-service history. Uh, spacer. Does this stuff even matter? Let's see. Both your parents' alliance army. Your childhood was spent on the ships and stations. They transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location. Excuse me, for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Um. Huh. That's quite the career you're setting out for. Colonist, you were born and raised on Mindo Minduar. Minduar. Uh, a small border colony in the Attack. Attack. Something universe. Attican, 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 I, I recognize the word, Attican universe. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindor, uh, slaughtering your family, oh Jesus, uh, your family and friends, you were saved by passing Alliance Patrol, and you enlisted in the military a few years later. Uh, you were an orphan, raised on the streets. Oops. Confirm pre-service history. You were an orphan, raised on the streets. Uh, great. Some big word. Metropolises, uh, covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Eh. I think the least depressing one is Spacer, Confirm despite the, <laughs> despite the career choice. Um, I'm not gonna read these. Uh, I think uh, I should read these though. All right, let's see. During your service, mission. Oh, I can't read all of this. I mean, I can, but... 
During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses and... Jesus! Um... Gee. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life. Dude, that doesn't sound like me. Uh, throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. And you call it cold, calculating, and brutal. I'll go with ruthless. Um, military specialization. Let's see. Are these the difficulties? Engineer. Ooh. Engineers are tech specialists using holographic omni tool. They can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, uh, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. Engineers can only use light armor and can only receive weapons. That doesn't really sound like someone who's ruthless. I mean, uh, through upgradable implants, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield. Let's see. Infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing Killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained. In... Let's see. I think I'm gonna go with a soldier. Confirmed. It seems to be the safest option. I I don't wanna die, fam. I wanna be like Master Chief. I wanna be OP. Sorry, I'm fixing my mouse here. <clears throat> uh, what can I do for? Ooh, papers. Um, pff, Scar. I think I'm good without a Scar. Uh, actually. Which one is John Shepard? Uh. How do I reset? I think that one's good old John. Alright. Did he have a scar? I, I don't want to change anything. I do not want to change anything. He looks beautiful the way he is. I, I can't... I can't... I can't remember. Confirm facial identification. Oh, there he is. Confirm appearance. Profile reconstruction complete. <laughs> All right. Identification confirmed. Combat difficulty. Well, obviously veteran. I ain't no, I ain't no bitch, chef. Let's see. Uh, squad and player. Squad only. What? Oh, um, auto level up off just with your points. Are yeah, I'll level up my own squad. Target assist adjust the combat difficulty by helping the player to aim it. You know, it's kind of a low graphic game or an older game so I'm gonna put it on normal 
Uh, squad power usage. That determines which skills and talents squad members will use in combat. Yeah, why not? Uh, subtitles? Yeah, just in case I... <laughs> Autosave? Yeah, why not? Alright. Sorry, fam. Took longer than I, uh, remembered. Alright. Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both mm, yes, yes it does. Hmm. Got most of his unit killed on Torfa. I should shut up so I can hear this. He gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Oh, he wasn't in that room when they were talking. Uh, let's see, in the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling them to travel to furthest stars and base incredible technology. And I. Damn it. You are too slow! <laughs> Ooh, that Jupiter! I see the ring hasn't gotten any bigger. Oh boy, where are we going? They probably said I wasn't paying attention. Make the little episode a little longer. Just so we can uh, get into combat. I, you know. <laughs> What was that? It's like, no, I don't want your fries. Board is green. Approach run has begun. Hitting the relay in three. Whoa. Two. What is that? Oh, it looks like a time warp thing. Or a, not a time, a, uh... Thrusters, check, navigation. Hyperspace check. thing, I guess? Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. Now, I always wondered who invented the hyperspace thing. Was it Star Wars or Star Trek? Still unsure on that. Remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. It's pretty incredible. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. Only an idiot believes the official story. Ooh. I'm not gonna be a dick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say you're overreacting. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are not. I kind of like this. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason. Get so. to choose what you're gonna say. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Stealth systems engaged. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach the bottom. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds familiar. That voice. Um. I heard. On my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? What the? Only one he's talking to you, Joker. 
I, what? I sounded pretty lax there. I could have given him a harder time about that. Whoa, whoa, we're on a ship. Relax. Jesus Christ. How do I put my weapon away? What did I do? Um. Settings. Uh, da da da. Controls. Equipment. How do I put away? Uh. Uh. Ah. Q. Alright, let's keep that in. Damn, this suit makes him look very wide. That in the 4x3 resolution, but... Alright, where am I going? Oh, follow the HUD. Arrow on the HUD. Hey, baby. Wanna get some, uh, Olive Garden after this? No. Alright, um... What's going on, Chief? Hey, 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 hey. Whoa! Can I even shoot him? No. Hi. How do I go on a fr first person if I need to? I'm sure they'll teach me how to do that. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. Heading down to see the captain? I heard you arguing. Should I say that? I think I'm gonna say like that. Don't trust Arturian Geth. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adam down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. <laughs> um... I would, what would I say? Like, how would I know? I'll look into it? What do you mean? You think the Alliance brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? Huh. It doesn't add up. Why indeed? I have no idea what he just said. <laughs> um, should I tell him to investigate? I'll, I'll see if I can get. I'll look into it. I don't want him to. I don't want to burden him. I'll do all the heavy lifting. Look at my shoulders. I do a lot of heavy lifting. <laughs> Uh, where do I go? Here? Wait, wait. Why is there still a white arrow on the HUD? <sighs> do I still have to talk to him? No. Oh, go in here. Woo! Hey, buddy. Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. Oh, is he? He's Nihilus. Okay, so, and they were talk. I think they were talking about a certain species before. That must be who. What he is. Um. <laughs> the captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I wouldn't know. I've never been there, but you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Um, I wouldn't take that as a threat. What's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still... state, man. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. Now, maybe we should we wait another million years, you're right. Run. Uh... 
I should say that's obvious, but Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why the secrecy? You didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top. I'm very confused about what's going on, probably because I'm talking too much. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big shit. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Yeah. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human When was this game made? Because this discovery could affect every species the... in the space. The face texture doesn't look that bad for when they're talking. To be. To be honest. Uh, I'm glad you're here to help. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action. Oh, baby. 2007 it was made. I'm looking this up right now. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good for 2007. In my opinion. Uh, let's see. What's Why? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a oh, I knew it. He's Keith David. I saw him in Community. Uh, Captain Anderson. If anybody knows him. Oh, Seth Green is in, the, in this too. Huh. That's cool. But you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Uh, okay, should probably be paying attention. So I can... Uh... You put no my name forward? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy. And to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. Fam, I don't think we're gonna shoot anything this episode. Getting a little uh <sighs> I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I don't care. Tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. I'm ready Just to give go. The word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. I think. What's wrong, Joker? Once they Transmission get out in the field, time, sir. You better see this. Puzzle pieces might start to come together. Screen. One can only hope. Oh damn, who's she? Oh, looks like shit's going on where the beacon is. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Um... That doesn't look very friendly. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold My God. What is that? It's the hand of God. Status report. Seventeen minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. Joker. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. 
Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Aw, oh, shit. Are we finally doing something? Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. We're going in. Yes. Gotta fight the hand of God. Engaging stealth systems. <laughs> Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. What does the beacon do? I... You coming with us? I move faster on my own. Kind of... Didn't Silas pay attention. I go alone. The mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Um... Understood, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! Damn right. We are approaching drop point two. Saving content. Alright, fam. Well, we're in the field now, but um, I think I'm going to end the episode here. <laughs> I didn't know the intro was going to take so long, so I'll see you... I'm going to... I'll see you guys in the next episode.